Hey, what's up guys? Tony here, and I was asked to do sort of uh, a breakdown of the iRacing menus because I guess it can be a little confusing for all you guys who might be new to iRacing. You, you're probably getting into this, and um, I was told it's not very user-friendly. And the funny thing was, is, is that I actually, I think I found it to be the same way, a little confusing at first, but because I had some people to help me out, Robin and Andy, I was able to go ahead and learn how to navigate my way through iRacing. So there are some people who have uh, sent me messages and they have said that the, the menu is really confusing. And so it would be nice if I did a very quick breakdown about how to get into practice and uh, how to get into a race. So this is what the homepage looks like when you sign in. You've got all the basics I mean, you, your series here, your car, what you're racing in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this go away because sometimes this is what you see. So here it is. Basically, the two ways to get in, getting into a practice session. You have got a private practice session and you have a public private, uh, excuse me, a private practice session and a public practice session. Now I'll show you the private practice session. If you don't want to worry about anybody else on the road, you can just go into a private one. And so you can see right here where it says test, you can click on test and it'll allow, it'll allow you to pick your car the track that you have available to you and this is new well the configuration that's not new the what's new is the weather you can do some weather stuff now um, so what I can do for you guys who are starting to, who's a, who you know who are gonna be doing road courses I'll just do a road and you could select any one of these if you just are new to it you have a free account you only have the tracks that you've unlocked these are, of course are tracks that I have purchased plus the free ones as well so we'll, we'll click Lime Rock and you'll see Lime Rock. Lime Rock is a really popular track for uh, for rookies. It's one of the rotation for the Mazda Cup. And then you'll see the green test car and track button. And you can click that, and then boom, you're off. It's loading, and then there'll be um, there's like an 18 second countdown, and you're ready to go. So if you don't want to do that, say you want to get into a practice session with people in a public practice session, because maybe you've got friends you know, on, who are doing iRacing as well and you want to all get into the same session. And that's something that a lot of people, if you jump into TeamSpeak and you listen to myself or Rebel or Andy or, um, or Robin, will say, oh yeah, we're going to be in 820 or session 963 or whatever. And people are like, what does that mean? I don't get it. Is that code? Is it speak? Well, no, it's not. So what you do is if you, this is how you access races and practice sessions. So you click on race now. And so I have my, my um, so current series that I'm racing in the Grand M series up. So when you click on race now, you'll go from the iRacing logo guy here. Click on race now. And you'll, you'll see right here, actually, there's a third option. I didn't even notice this. So you can, if you just want to test on track privately, it's got there, test car on track. So you can do it there. You don't have to click on test and go through that rigmarole. You can go race now, test on track, boom, it'll take you there. Um, this drop down tab will let you change between the cars that you own or that are available to you. And I have both of these. Um, I'm a McLaren driver. I really don't like the prototype car. So, I mean, it's cool, but it's just not really my cup of tea. So, getting on to the practice sessions and getting on to the um, races and stuff, that's all accessed through the sessions tab right here. So, what you'll do is you click on that. And when you scroll down, you'll see practice qualified time trial race. And all these practice sessions are available. They're, these are the uh, US ones, uh, Australian server, and I, North America. It's um, this one. I don't know what that is. And, now, and you can check your ping to whatever it is. Um, so you can see that my ping to Australia 165. Um, I don't know which server this is. NLAMS. I don't know. I know that's obviously Sydney. Oh, Amsterdam. This must be European. Yeah, the Netherlands. So Amsterdam. U.S. And I think that's Maine. Or Massachusetts, sorry. Um, so anyways, you got your practice sessions here. And so the, the numbers I was referring to, like 8, 843 or whatever, 384. So whenever we're like, oh, I'm going to be in session 384. So when you go and you'll see, oh, okay, he's in 384. It won't tell you. Or there's the option of going down to your friends list and if there's a little wheel next to this guy's name right here next to Devin's name I could click on that it'll say watch now race now or whatever so I can join on him or I could just join whatever session he says he's in and you can do that and you, of course this is you know the session number how many people are in it 6 of 30 right now this is the server so it's a US server and the uh, the time left 44 minutes 
and then you've got qualifying and the qualifies usually happen about 30 minutes before sometimes for rookies i think it's 15 minutes before the race starts so oh no no sorry it's 30 minutes before the race starts so it's the bottom hour all rate rookie races are at the top of the hour and actually just to show you guys i'll go to a rookie on uh, the monster cup so you guys can see what it is for road and i'll show you guys what it looks like for oval so you got your practice sessions usually this is probably the most populated um, series right now just because of the fact that there's a lot of rookie racers there's a lot of people that like to race these anyway so um you see four out of 12 on the u.s server 21 minutes left qualify and you see qualifies 11 30 races at um 11 oh yeah there's a race coming up so the uh, so it's 10 30 now so the qualify session for the 11 o'clock race is over um so this is the next qualify time 11 30 for the midnight race and your qual just so you guys know the qualify times last the whole week and the next time the track comes around you got to requalify i don't really qualify anymore i'll be honest i probably should but i just i never do i just never really get around to it mainly because i'm more than anything else working on my safety rating and I can go into that later on. I just want to show you guys the menu system. So like I said, um, this is pretty self-explanatory when it comes to sessions. You just click on this. And so we'll show you what happens when you click on it. It'll say, you know, select a car. I'm going to hit go. And then you're going to see there's going to be a countdown to staging. you got 18 seconds staging. And once that gets on staging, you just click uh, join. And you'll start your racing. You'll start your practice session. Or you can withdraw, which I'm going to do right now. So anyways, I hope you guys found this informative and helpful. And hopefully, I, th I think what I might do is from here on out, I might give you some tips about maybe for new people from what I've learned in the last four months of my racing, um, what I've learned and how to be successful, you know, when it comes to just iRacing, sim racing, uh, you know, just my own experience. There's plenty of really good drivers out there, but I don't know how many people just say, like, here's a good way to go about approaching iRacing. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I shall talk to you later.